All right, guys, my name is Alfred Montanier, and we are going to have an interesting video, guys. If you see that bus, it says 11 Flagler Street, and uh, we are going to be doing a walking tour today, but we're going to be doing a video a little bit different because I want you to understand South Florida. So if you want to visit here, you can have an idea where you're at. You see this road right here where it says Flagler? Flagler is the most important road down in South Florida. And the reason is why it's the most important road, in my opinion, is because it's the dividing line between North and Southwest. So in the direction I'm pointing the camera right now is heading South. So the dividing line from between North and South is this street, which is Flagler, which goes East to West. And here I'm pointing the camera now North. So if I go one block north, I'm on Northwest 1st Street. If I go two blocks, Northwest 2nd Street, Northwest 4th Street, 5th Street, all the way down, and it keeps on going into about 200th Street. Same thing. If I point in the direction south, Southwest 1st Street, Southwest 2nd Street, eventually you get to 8th Street, which is Calle Ocho. Calle Ocho is the road that goes east and west the farthest in Miami. It'll go all the way to the Miccosukee uh, tribe, so which is past 177th Avenue. And to give you guys an idea, right now we're filming off of 37th Avenue. So you count up 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, all the way up to 172nd. So 8th Street will go that far. Flagler does not go that far, but I did want to show you that. And now we're going to begin the walking tour of what to do and what to understand over here in Miami. But first thing, I gotta get to the airport. So let's get to the airport because I'm gonna act like I'm you and uh, you already have an idea. So if you know that you see a sign somewhere and it says Southwest, you already know that you're south of Flagler. And if it says Northwest, you're north of Flagler. All right, let's go, let's get in the car. <laughs> to Miami! That's probably the best welcoming you get in Miami when you come here, okay? So let's get that out of the way. All right, my friends, welcome. Like I said, once again, my name is Alfred Montaner. So when you're coming back and you're coming back, we're going to start like if you're going back home, you're about to get the airport or you're coming back, you got the Miami International Airport. See this right here? Guys, pay attention. You're going to get lost. You're going to follow the Uber app and you're going to make a mistake. You have the rental car center here to my right. And if we go straight, we're going to go to the airport. Right now, for this particular segment of the video, we're going to go to the arrival section, which is where you're going to get picked up when you first get here. Now, when you're coming back, you see where it says car rental? Right there. And we're on a road right now that was called Lejeune. Now, we're getting back to the airport. Let's get back to the airport. And now we're going to see signs that say arrival. This is what your Uber driver is going to do when you call him or her and say, hey, I'm on door number seven. I'm door number D, whatever the, the actual markings of the door are, and you're gonna give them that information and then they can pick you up so that you can go to wherever you're gonna go. So let's continue. Let me show you what it's gonna look like as we get in here. So you're coming back, your Uber will take you this route as well. This is almost like if you're coming back to the airport. Now you see here, look at the signs coming up ahead. When you're going to get dropped off, you're gonna to go to where it says terminal. Now, sometimes the Uber app would take you to the cargo area. You don't wanna to go to the cargo area because sometimes if you type in on the Uber app, you know, hey, uh, not on the Uber app, on Google Maps or something like that, it'll drop you off there. You see where it says departures, arrivals, okay? You're gonna go on departures if you're, you know, you're leaving. But in this case, we're gonna to go to arrivals. So let's go to the arrival section. I wanna show you guys as if you were getting picked up. So what you can do and tell your Uber driver so they know what to expect and what you know what to expect when you're, you're coming. All right, so at this point, you're looking at your app. You see the Uber driver coming and see these three lanes here? This, this is the far left lane and this is the center lane, okay? And then the first lane is usually where all the taxis are. 
So when you come, you can tell the Uber driver, hey, I'm in the far left lane. And then now, huh, if you see here on the thing, it says where it says door number one, you're gonna see now another one that says door number two. So when you talk to your Uber driver, you tell them, hey, listen, I'm on door number two. You see over there? Oh man, okay, here, here's a good, perfect example. So door number two, hey, guess what? I'm here at door number two. You see over there, that would be the door. Your baggage is on this same level, all right? So very simple. You already know what to expect. Now you get in your Uber. Now we have options once we're getting out of here. So always tell your Uber driver, I think the Uber app or the Lyft app will tell you, you know, be here on door number seven or whatever door number it is or whatnot. So, all right, let's get out of the airport and continue so you guys can see what to expect. Now, some of you, some of you, won't be getting an Uber. Some of you guys might go to the rental car. So if you get into an Uber and you want to go ahead and take an Uber to the rental car, you can go ahead and do that as well. And I'm going to show you that right now once we get out of here so you can have that option if you, if, if you were to do that. So it's a little maze here real quick, but we're going to be getting out of here shortly. And this is the arrival section. So a lot of times people will make the mistake and they'll be on the departure section. And you see above me, there's another road where people can be dropped off. So this is the lower level. So keep in mind, you see how you have all the door numbers there? This is very, very important, guys. If not, you're going to have a mission um, if you don't communicate properly. Because what happens is some of the Uber drivers you know, don't speak the best English and there's going to be a, probably a, a lapse in communication and then you get frustrated. Now, mind you, you always have the option of getting a cab. So, all right, so we're about to get out of the, quote, airport section. So let's get out of here now and you, you already guys know what to expect. Now, look at this, door number 31. Very simple. You can be, you can say, hey, I'm in the center lane, I'm in the far left lane, uh, so you can communicate properly with the person. All right, so here's the exit to the airport. Okay, rental return. You see where it says rental? Okay, so now, look at the signs, guys. This is, this is interesting and it's very informative. So, we gonna, we're gonna go to the rental car terminal and we'll stay to our left. But you see how I said east and west, north and south in the beginning of this video? The reason I did that is because depending on what we do right now, we can make some choices. I'm not gonna go to the car rental return because we don't have a rental. But if you did, you just stay to your left and you get on the rental. Now, right now we're on Lejeune, which is 42nd Avenue. Now I'm gonna go south on Lejeune. If I would have stayed to my left, I would have gone north on Lejeune. All right, very interesting and very, um, 836 is a highway. So if I wanted to jump on the highway, 836 will go east and west, primarily. I can take that, but right now I stayed here to my left because I want to stay on Lejeune. Okay, remember Lejeune is an avenue. Lejeune will take you pretty far up. It'll, it'll definitely get you to US-1. All right, you see how it says Northwest 14th Street over there? based on what we just discussed in the beginning of the video, we're 14 streets away from Flagler. Because remember, Flagler is the dividing line from north and south. So I know I'm 14th and I'm heading right now south. So it's going to go 14, 13, you know, 12. Uh, eventually it's going to get to 1st Street and then Flagler. So what we're going to do right now 
is I'm going to show you a way that you can go and go maybe, you know, have your Uber driver or, or whoever's bringing you back or, or you're going to just get a rental. You can kind of do this tour so you guys can see the area as you're visiting Miami. All right, here's a good pro tip. So if, say you have a situation where you need to just get a flight, you missed a flight, things are just the worst thing ever. Right off of Lejeune, you have a lot of hotels, okay? Right here out of the airport, you have, you have the Marriott, which is right here. You have a Fairfield in Marriott, you have that's the prince. Okay, so if you want to, you can stay here at the princess. Good thing. It's it's very close. It's walking distance technically. So you have a enterprise that's not on the thing. See this place right here? This is what we call catch of the day. Very 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 good seafood. Very close to the airport. So you want to go ahead and have a meal before you catch a flight very important that you stop by there good place you want some cuban coffee if i were just coming off from a big big uh, work flight and i wanted to take a pit stop and get some coffee i would stop at this latin cafe taste of cuba i would stop right there now i'm gonna make a left here on northwest i'm sorry um on flagler coming up so northwest 7th street So we're right now we're on Northwest Third Street. You see how the streets are coming down, guys? And now we're gonna get to Flagler. Hey guys, when when I'm saying all this stuff about crabs and all that stuff, I, I'm obviously playing around, okay? I'm doing it because I want to make sure that there's engagement with you guys. But having that said, I've never really been to this place, so. I, I don't know what to, to expect. It could be the best place in the world. It could be the worst place in the world. I don't know. I haven't been there. I'm just giving you uh, a, a random thought that, that comes, comes into my mind. All right, so up ahead is Flagler. We have to put our turn signal, obviously. All right, you see you're up there where it says Lejeune? So I'm on 42nd Avenue. Right now I'm on Lejeune. I'm going to be making a left on Flagler. So now I make my left on Flagler. This guy just took the light, wonderful. So now from 42nd Avenue, I'm gonna start going down avenues. So you see the sign right here, 41st Avenue. See that over there, 41st? Now it's gonna go down avenues. Now where we started this video was 37th Avenue and Flagler. And right now we're on Flagler. If I go this way, I'm going which way, guys? Listen up. I'm going south. I'm sorry. I'm going north. See, you guys are going to be confused already. So I'm in northwest right now, this direction. And if I point this way, just one block over, I'm in southwest. And 37th Avenue is also considered Douglas Road. Now I'm going to make a right up here because I'm going to go to 8th Street. But instead of taking you along the main streets, I'm going to show you guys what a little bit of Miami looks like. So like some of the homes in these areas, since obviously I know how to get around this area. All right, so Southwest first, okay? Now we're back to Douglas Road, coming up here. All 
That's a Publix. A Publix is basically our known grocery store down here. There's there's other ones called like Winn Dixie, Sedano's is more geared to Hispanics. We have other ones called Presidente that are more geared to Hispanics. So just more culturally. But but these bigger companies have also um, marketed to the Hispanic. Remember, South Florida is very Hispanic when it comes to the people that are here. Okay, Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon will go to where we did the walking tour of Coral Gables, South Miami, all that area. And we did a walking tour. That will eventually go to that area through Ponce de Leon. We're not going to go through Ponce de Leon right now because what we're going to do is we're going to go to Southwest 8th Street. And I want you guys to get an idea of what 8th Street looks like. Because we did a video walking 8th Street. But we're on 5th right now and 37th Avenue. So here's what I'm going to do. I want you guys to see what the houses look like. So 37th. We're going now down. It's going to be 36. You see how on the signs on, on the... And it just keeps on going down. 3666. So what the 36 means is that you're on 36th Avenue and the 66 is the number of the house. Okay? These are the types of homes that are in the middle of Miami. So we're on 36th Avenue and 5th Street. All right. So, oh, look, a little Carolina skiff. All right, guys. You see what we got? Now, Southwest 7th Street. If we're on Southwest 7th Street, what's the next street? It's That's right. It's 8th Street. But, but look where I just came up to. Now, I won't be able to make a left here because it's, it's, I can only make a right. But what do we got right here, guys? That is the world famous Versailles. Do you guys see Versailles? There it is. Okay. Oh man, this is a great, great video. Okay, so now in my little Havana video, I began that video here. So you can pause this video and watch that video and go over there. Okay, so let's keep on. Little Havana, guys. Now, back to 37th Avenue. Wow, this is going to be a great video. You know why? Because it's going to be very informative. And not, not just because I'm smart, good looking, and sexy. That has nothing to do with this video, guys. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm the King of Hollow. It doesn't mean none of that. It means that you're not going to be dumb while you're in our city. You're going to know how to get around, and you're going to understand where you're at. So, 37th Avenue, I'm pointing in the direction going west. So, 37th, 38th, all the way to Lejeune. If I make a right on Lejeune, I go to the airport. Remember, Lejeune will get you to the airport. Now, if I go far enough south, eventually I hit US-1. So, if I go that way south i will hit us one. Oh, look there's a boat over there what kind of boat is that i missed oh it's a mako okay all right, it was a mako all right so here's what we're going to do right now in between 37th avenue this whole section here is coral gables but i want to go through coral gables down ponce and the reason why i want to go down ponce de Leon is because i want you guys to see another area where I've already done a walking tour. So if you're looking at uh, on a map right now, we're on 37th Avenue and Southwest 8th Street. Now we're going to make a left on Ponce. Which is up here coming up. Okay, so 
This is Ponce de Leon. Now we could have got it on 37th Avenue a little earlier, right? You saw how we had that turn? Now we, we get into a very desirable area in Miami. So not too far from the airport, very central, and uh, a lot of business is conducted in the Coral Gables area. A lot of law, law firms are in this area. I'm, I'm trying to be a little less Miami right now, guys, since All right, so now we are going down. See where that sign that says City of Coral Gables? All right, so now you have just entered Coral Gables. Now Coral Gables is a couple of blocks off of Lejeune. So if I were to make a right, since we were just on 37th Avenue, we're going to get into, if I come up here and make a right on any of these streets, I would eventually go back to Lejeune, which is 42nd Avenue. But I'm going to stay in Ponce de Leon. So right now, technically, we are using um, Coral Gable addresses. You're in between Miami-Dade addresses. That's that's why I started the video the way I did. But now this has its own names. Like, um, if we're following, I'll give you the name of the next street. That we're, we're on Mendoza right now. We're on Mendoza and Ponce de Leon. Now, this is a very nice area. And this would be kind of considered like the downtown area of... Coral Gables. Getting a little further up, you're going to see a lot of, you know, a lot of walking and tourists. This is kind of the area where people would come and hang out. Also, a lot of locals like to come here because not many tourists come over here, but it's still cool places to hang out and have great uh, foods and wines. And look at Zuka over here. You got more restaurants here, uh, PLC. I mean, just a lot of good options when it comes. Keep in mind, it's it's kind of like, you know, a lot of finance, a lot of law firms all work in this area. So there's a lot of, you know, desirable places to stay, eat, because you know, there's money here. All right, so this is Alhambra. Another important. Now here, this is also new because of the pandemic. Um, they actually blocked off certain areas, like here, that you can walk all these areas and have some dining. And here, there's a very popular restaurant here to the right, which is well known with a lot of the locals for many many years it's always packed I don't know what it's called now we'll see what it's called now it's called Hillstone it used to be called Houston's many many years ago so this is like I said the heart of Coral Gables Buya, very good place to have a nice nice meal my my wife loves the food there i like it as well now if you guys saw the video that i did from the south miami and i walked all the way to past the university of miami i passed the coral gables waterway and i ended up walking through to through the shops at merrick park that's where this video is going to take us now. We're going to go there. So this video will actually be a, a video that can be linked to that video because now it makes sense. You're, you're going to know from the airport where you're actually at. 
it's a nice day. It's a, a Wednesday, so it's not a very crazy day. But, like I said, um, good area. Now, very popular known hotels around here in Coral Gables would be the Biltmore, um, which is a little bit off this area, but it's it's in the Coral Gables area. What's up with this light, dude? All right, so continuing down ponds. Now coming up here, I'm going to show you guys. Look, there's a lot of new construction going on here as well. But while we're here, look at the roads, the markers on the on the roads. You're going to see them now, which are very popular. Here's a small little park. And uh, we continue. So kind of right now we're getting out of that area. We're still in Coral Gables. And if you look over here, we have the courthouse in Coral Gables. So if you had like a traffic citation or something like that. And we go to the right over there, we get back on Lejeune. Now, along that route that way is the Biltmore. So we would have to cross Lejeune to get to the Biltmore. But I wanna take you guys to exactly where we finished the walking tour so you guys see what it looks like. And I'm trying to do this unedited, guys, so, so you guys can see exactly what um, what the realistic time is. I mean, obviously, it's, it's, it's a little bit of traffic, but okay, so so we're, we're still on Ponce de Leon. You see the markers that are on the street? I'm, I'm right now just passing Ponce de Leon, and what street is this? Alessio. Alessio and Ponce de Leon. So if you're following me on Google Maps. Now we're coming up on Bird Road. Bird Road, guys. Bird Road, which is Southwest 40th Street. Come on, my pupils. If we're on Southwest 40th Street, how many streets are we far away from Flagler? That's right, we're 40 streets away from Flagler. So we already know we're Southwest 40th Street. We got the collection building up, up ahead. The collection has been in this same spot for many, many years. And it's basically a very, very high-end um, uh, car dealership. It, it has you know major brands, Ferrari. It's always been known to have you know, very high-end cars. Now, yours truly used to live back here in one of these little rinky-dink uh, places back in the days when I was a kid, when I was living alone because it was close to Coconut Grove and that's where I liked to party. So this is the collection. You see the cars over there? I mean, you won't see them in there, but they're in there. Now, where we stopped the video that we did the other day was right here. So now, time out, time out. Come on, guy. You're really, you're really messing up the pecking order here, dude. All right. So when we did the video the other day, we ended it right here at, at Shops at Merrick Park. And now you can pause this video if you wanted to and see where I physically walked all the way inside this area here. See, this is a nice, cool shopping mall that's in the Coral Gables area. Now I walked in here, guys. It's really pretty. It's really nice. I would encourage you to take a look at that video. You'll, you're definitely gonna learn a lot, especially if you're gonna be coming in here and this is your first time to UM, you know, I definitely would suggest you take a look at this area. You see, there's nice restaurants. It's very pretty here, okay? See? 
all this area. So this is the shops in Merrick Park outdoor. Now, okay, we already got that out of the way. Now we're going back to Lejeune. But I cannot make a, a left up here. So I'm gonna make a, a left here so I can make a left up on the next one, which is Lejeune, okay? So, wow, this is, this is gonna be a great video. It's, very, it's gonna be very informative. If you guys, trust me, if you guys stick around to see this whole video, you will enjoy your stay, especially if you have a, a, a rental. You will learn a lot, because that's my goal with this video. All right. Lejeune, oh my goodness. What's Lejeune? Lejeune is the road that's gonna go back that way that's gonna lead to the airport. That's right. Now, we're gonna go back and we're gonna head towards US-1, which is the road. Listen up, guys, listen up, take notes. US-1, well, I-95, ends on US-1 and where I'm pointing right now is Coral Gables Senior High but why is US-1 very important oh boy hold on hey I'm doing a video and I'm not cutting this edit at all so be careful what you say because thousands of people are gonna are gonna hear you Uh, okay, is it is there anything important or no? Not really, no. no. Okay, guys, well, that's my wife, my wife, Jaima, while we're doing this uh, walking tour. Okay, babe, I'll call you in a little bit. What are you doing a walking tour? I'm not doing a walking tour. I'm in the car, but I'm, sh I'm telling them about the walking tour. So, all right, guys, so listen, we're right now passing Coral Gable Senior High. And we're going to get to, all right, I'll call you in a bit. I try to do this on edited so you guys can know exactly. She's probably going to be like, who the hell does this guy think he is? And I'm not going to have dinner tonight just because of that phone call, guys. You see what you guys did to me? Damn it. I love my wife. <sighs> but it's just, it's these damn videos, man. It's YouTube. It's, it's ruining my time. All right. Back to an area where we walked in the prior video. It's it's all gonna it's all gonna make sense now guys. It's all gonna make sense. Now in the prior video we missed this which is Havana Harry's which is a, a really popular restaurant in this area and we're gonna get close to the University of Miami. Alright so now this is Ponce de Leon again, guys. It wraps around and up there and that next light is US-1. But the video that we did the other day was walking tour down all this area, which is where we saw the University of Miami, which is gonna be up ahead. So now we're in Ponce de Leon heading um, parallel. So we're not, we're like, we're going south, southwest right now, kind of where, we're, in the direction we're going. Where those, those cars are. Now, that road, which I said is US-1, will lead all the way to the Keys. So theoretically, if I go ahead and make a left up here, then make a right up there, and I just go down US-1, US-1 will take me all the way to the Keys if I head that way, which is south. If I head the opposite way, eventually it's gonna hit I-95 and I can go all the way down I-95 to New York or wherever. Here's the Coral Gables waterway. I actually did a video of this waterway. If you guys wanna see that, it's a very good tour. Um, I'm actually in the waterway on a kayak showing you guys what the houses look back there. Now coming up is the University of Miami. If you look up there and you missed the other video, 
that is our metro rail system that's above there and there's metro rail stops along the way to, to let people get to their destination or close to it and then you know either they walk home or or, or take maybe an uber the final you know leg of their ride all right wow this is going to be a good video i told you guys ah oh, now you know while i'm in the car i'm starting to realize how much i walked the other day that's crazy so we did walk all of this now you're going to start seeing some of the kids from the university of miami so you're going to see a lot of young kids from this area right there looks like there's a student there more students here all right this would be the main entrance to the University of Miami there it is and we walk that now while we're up here We made a ride on Lejeune. We're, we're heading west. That means we're going up avenues on, on Miami, right? Well, on Miami addresses, we're still right now in Coral Gables. So you're going to see these Coral Gable addresses as well. So, but let's continue. Because... This was a, a tour of Miami, like like literally by a local, like, okay. Man, I say okay a lot, but I mean, I have to break this down. This is the University of Miami station, so when the kids want to use public transportation, they get there, and uh, that'll, that'll take them a little bit further south. There's only a couple more stops. There's uh, Dayland South and Dayland North Station. A lot of people use Ponce de Leon to avoid a little bit of the traffic that's on US-1, but it is what it is. They're, they all have tr traffic. So we're still in the Coral Gables area. Now it's going to get a little interesting because we're going to go into areas where we have not seen coming up ahead. Now you're going to see... Um, where I would say, you know, people that are well off where they live. Obviously, anywhere in Coral Gables is, you know, you live in Coral Gables, you know, more than likely you're doing very well for yourself. See, so you here are the kids from the University of Miami and now here we're gonna come across an area where we can't make it that left. It doesn't matter. I want I want you guys to see where some of the, I, I think there's some some of the sororities are on here as well. All right. So. University of Miami, guys. You see, how. There's there's some some type of event going on over here right now. I don't know. Maybe it's a baseball game. You know, they're checking. Oh, uh, so yeah, it's a baseball game. All right. So here's the field. The game is going on, but here is where huh, I think these are where the sororities are, right? So I don't know. Comment below. Chime in below if you guys are, uh, you know. UM alumni, here's Cobb Stadium, and we're going to go back over here now, we're going to make a quick left, but, but just definitely give you an idea of what is back here, so you guys can see it for yourself. Okay, so... All right. 
Now what, we're, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a right on Santa Maro and I'm going to go now towards 57th Avenue. Here are some of You see? Smash that like, guys, if you haven't smashed that like yet, man. I mean, I'm trying to give you guys a really, really good perspective of South Florida. And I don't think that you can get this without having someone tell you more or less what's going on. Okay. Heading back this way. If I go down that road, which is 57th Avenue now, guys, remember, we started on 37th Avenue this video. We've gone up 20 blocks west because we're on 57th Avenue. And we're about southwest 64th Street. So we're 64th Street away from Flagler. Now, this video is going to be geared towards the southwest side. The southwest as opposed to northwest. Because I'm going to end up heading closer to my house, which I live in the southwest section of South Florida. And we're on 57th Avenue, which is considered Red Road. Now, 57th Avenue or Red Road, whichever one you want to call it in this case, uh, will turn into um, Old Cutler Road, which is goes pretty far south. Okay, this is Red Road Commons. A lot of the kids live back here in these apartments. It's walking distance to a lot of places. Obviously the school is over here to the left. That's Ponce de Leon over there. Now when we started the video, the South Miami Coral Gables video, we started it in the South Miami area slash Sunset Place. Sunset Place is an outdoor mall similar to like the one that we just passed on shops at Merrick's Park. It's not as, um, let's just say that the shops at Merrick Park are much nicer and, and a lot more, it's, it's, a, it's a wealthier area. So the shops are a little bit more expensive and it's just nicer, it's, it's just nicer. Not to say that Sunset Place is not a nice place to go because it, it is very nice, but um, Sunset Place is a little older as well, so it's not as new as the shops at Merrick Place. But we walked it and it looks nice, you know. They have some some entertaining areas. Here you got some kids from UM. You have a gas station here. And now this is US-1. Now, like I said, if I make a right over here, I can go all the way to the Keys down this road right here. or now I'm, I'm on Old Cutler, which we actually did this walk, and we're still technically in Coral Gables, but now we're heading, we're getting into the South Miami area. So this is what we call Sunset Place. All this is a shopping mall, it's an outdoor mall, and uh, like I said, they have a big LA Fitness there, so if, uh, if some of these kids want to go ahead and have their closest gym they'll probably go like you see that there's two young ladies there walking through there one of them looks like they're in gym attire they probably just came from from the gym I don't know um, there's still more stores over here there's food there's like a chicken kitchen there's you know restaurants all along this area but now once we go down 57th Avenue which is right now where, where, where we're on I'm going to go back to exactly where we began the other video so you guys can get that perspective and the walking tour. So, okay, so when we started the, the South Miami to Coconut, um, to, I'm sorry, to, to Coral Gables video, this is where we started it. We started it over here. And, and this would be what we would consider South Miami, South Miami area. And 
here is Sunset Place, which like I said, is very nice. Lots of shops, good dining, uh, movie theaters, bowling, like, uh, I don't know, I don't know what is here after the pandemic, but when we started the other video, we started it back here. And now I want to show you while we're in the car, some more areas along this area. And, and like I said, this is where we started the video last time. And I'm going to make a quick right to show you guys more of South Miami a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to Old Cutler so you guys can see Old Cutler. Fifty eighth Avenue. You see? South Miami, fifty eighth Avenue and Southwest Seventy Third Street. So we're seventy three blocks away from Flagler. South Miami is a cool little section uh, in South Florida. Up up ahead is US-1. We're going to make a quick right. We're going to go back. We're going to go back to 57th Avenue, which converts to Old Cutler. And I want you to see some of the houses because we, we are going to lose a little bit of light, guys. So, you know, we're going to end this video soon. But at least you can get an idea of what is where in South Florida. If you look at this area, since we, we came from the airport, I mean, we haven't really seen anything sketchy or weird, you know? And, and one of the things I want to show you, now there is sketchy places in South Florida and eventually we're going to end up walking through them or driving through them so you guys can see different sides of Miami because everything is not, you know, perfect. But I think the perspective that I've been giving you guys is enough to give you enough of an understanding of what you can really expect when you come down here, you know? So you have this as a, as a map per se in your mind. And then when you get into an Uber, you get into, you know, a taxi, you already know where you're going, what's going on. And All right, so now I'm heading in, in the east direction. I can technically go all the way to Lejeune down that way if I can keep on going down avenues but in this case I'm going to go up street so I'm going to go higher up I'm going to go 73rd 74th keep on going south here's that chicken kitchen I was telling you about you got more small little stores here you got a chill nitrogen ice cream yogurt place a lot of the kids will get stuff from there sometimes they'll grab an uber if they're you know, want that specialized ice cream or now from here, beginning on 74th, it begins a dead zone. And what I mean by a dead zone down on 57th Avenue, which is going to turn into Red Road is going to turn into Old Cutler Road. It there's not much back here other than homes. You'll see some stuff, and I'm going to show you, because technically we're still in Coral Gables. But you're not going to see a lot of... And I'm going to turn into some of the streets in a moment, so you guys can see a little bit what's going on as far as the wealth in this neighborhood. Now, obviously, this is one of the main roads, so... It being one of the main roads, it doesn't have the nicest homes. The nicest homes are a little bit tucked in into the actual city. There's a big church here. Now, Old Cutler, or Red Road in this case that we're still on, is, uh, I remember, you know, because of the trees and all that stuff, Whenever there's like a hurricane, this this 
this street gets hard to navigate because there's so many pretty trees that give it that nice feel for the area. You got some parks over here that we just passed a, a private school. Okay, so we're technically still in South Miami. South Miami is to our right. Coral Gables is to our left. Okay, so anything that way right now is still Coral Gables. Now, eventually we get out of South Miami. And now you see that sign right there. It just says, Welcome to Pinecrest. All right, now we're getting into the big money baller sections. So trees got a little fatter. Let me go ahead and hang a right so you guys can see. So we're on Southwest 91st Street and 57th Avenue. Brand new construction. All right, and this is, oh boy. And, and there's a, a local police officer that's gonna be wondering what the hell's going on over here. So 57th Avenue, oh, that's the, that doesn't go through. All right, so, so perfect example of Pinecrest. Very, very wealthy, desirable area. Now, Pinecrest, it, it's in this pecking order, right? It's Pinecrest, then we have, the further south we go, we got Pinecrest, we got Palmetto Bay, we got Cutler Bay. Look at, look at the peacocks here. Look at this. Wait a second. Come on, dude. Think about that, right? Those guys are a nuisance. They're, they're around all these areas. Look, look, there's, there's a ton more over here. Oh, man. I'm stuck. All right, so, obviously, wow, look at all these peacocks. Oh, my God, these, these people are getting bombarded by peacocks. Look how many peacocks are here, bro. This is insane. Wow, this is the peacock house. I wouldn't even have known those here. That's crazy. Dude, that is nuts. All right. Um, back to 57th Avenue. Let's go back to 57th. But look, look how pretty the houses are, guys. The houses are really, really nice in this area. Let's go back to 57th and keep on going. So from, damn, I've never seen that many peacocks in my life. That was interesting, to say the least. That was interesting, to say the least. There is more peacocks over here, and um, back to 57th Avenue. losing a little bit of light but that's fine so you have an idea inside what this looks like Now here there's like a small little canal. Now going up here, guys, when you're in this area, you wanna make sure you stay at the speed limit. If you're gonna be driving down, you know, old Cutler, especially at night, because you know, you, you're just trying to get home and uh, before you know it, you get uh, stopped. Good popular area. 
where people come to have a strawberry shake. I've been here for many, many years. The Wayside Market. Okay, so this place is always full during the day. Ooh, I'm going to show you guys a good place to eat too. Ooh, that's actually, hasn't been there that too long, but it's, it's doing very, very well. See, all this, 101st Street. We're on 101st Street, guys. Southwest, remember, Southwest. So how far are we from Flagler? Oh, we're 101 Street away from Flagler, just in case, you know, you end up in a, in a club and, you know, somebody puts a pill in your in your thing and you wake up without kidneys and then you're like, hey, I'm on 104th, great. Alfred told me I won't be lost, but I'm missing my two kidneys. No, no, not really, guys. It's not really that bad, but, but it is good to know the streets and avenues and, and where you're at, right? Now, for those of you guys that watch my videos and watch the chit show, um, which is basically me at a boat ramp, which is called Blo uh, Black Point Marina. Black Point Marina is on 200 and something street, southwest. So it's pretty far from Flagler. So, all right, so we got uh, Killian Drive, Pinecrest Gardens. And this is kind of like a place that is very nice. And this actually used to be a parrot jungle back in the days. But now parrot jungle is, uh, or what used to be called parrot jungle is now by Watson Island in uh, Miami Beach area. All right, so we're, we're in Pinecrest, but here to our left, is technically still Coral Gables. Because if I were to make a left up here on this street up, up, up here, that would take us to Coral Gables still. So Coral, Coral Gables uh, is pretty big. Now you see that sign up there where, where it says Old Cutler Road? Now we're getting back. Remember how I told you guys the 57th becomes Old Cutler? That's what's going to happen right now. So now from Pinecrest, once we go up Old Cutler Road, Pinecrest finishes and then Palmetto Bay. And it's in that order. Like the hierarchy as far as wealth. Coral Gables will be one. Pinecrest two. Palmetto Bay. Cutler Bay. Then... You have other areas like Princeton, and then eventually you go to Homestead and then Florida City uh, if you want to be technical about stuff. So I'm still going up streets. Pine Bay Estates. And soon we will see another cool place. You see how there was nothing here for a while? So technically, these people don't have shopping or anything so, so close. So they would have to either hang a right on 120th, eventually hit US-1 again which will still be in Pinecrest. They'll still be in Pinecrest, so it's, it's still a good area, but it's not as close as, you know, some places that you have everything around you. But now, you see how it says, welcome to Pinecrest? Because it's still Pinecrest. And they want you to know. They want you to know you're in the Pinecrest. It's kind of getting dark, but it is what it is, guys. I, I think this video has given you guys a, a, a better understanding oh look at look how pretty this house is and all right so very very prestigious um, school down here private school 
okay, which is called Gulliver, Gulliver Prep. So down in this area, you have a lot of private schools that were, that are very, very um, prestigious, expensive, you know, good education. There's a lot of them. Gulliver is one of them. Now, since it's basically two ways, uh, two lanes, the traffic here during the week can be pretty intense. But they're purposely keeping it that way so it doesn't have and doesn't lose that feel of, you know, of that small town vibe that you have here in this section. Ah, it's funny, you guys are gonna come home with me. How cute. My friends are coming home with me. Now, coming up ahead, popular um, places. You'll have uh, the Deering Estate, which, if you haven't seen it, you should look it up. Uh, okay, so this this would be called Deering Bay. We just passed Deering Bay, but the Deering Estate is going to be up ahead. Which who knows? Maybe we can pass through there. And I'm actually going to make a left here on 67th Avenue. So so remember, we're on 57th Avenue now. We're shooting up a little bit, a couple avenues, and we're going to get up to 67th Avenue. You see how it's going to 63rd. Now the furthest Miami goes to. Technically, it goes further, would be 177th Avenue, which is called Chrome Avenue. It goes a little bit further, right? But then it crashes into, it goes to like 187, 197, then it crashes into the Everglades, the further west you go. Um, but Chrome would be the next big road that goes from north to south. Listen to that. Chrome would be the next road. Okay, so we got 67th Avenue. I can keep on going straight, and we're going to go back to the same road if we were going straight, but I'm going to make a left here on 67th Avenue because I want to show you guys another really prestigious school that many of you may know because a famous baseball player who's with a famous Latin singer an actress by the name of J-Lo, he attended this school. And the school which I'm talking about is the school of Alex Rodriguez, better known as A-Rod. And uh, he was here in uh, Westminster Christian, which is up ahead. Now, this area, I would love for them to do a freaking boat ramp around here. This is untouched area. I know Florida Power and Light owns some of the area around here, but it's it's still technically Coral Gables back there. Um, very very expensive property. Um, in it's a it's a good area. I mean, think about it. You're but they preserve it. This is where Deering Bay and Deering Estates is. And like I said, we got the school coming up here to our right. And uh, this is Alexander Montessori School right up here. And here you have one of the congressional churches. And here is Westminster Christian. That's Westminster Christian right there. That's the school. They have events there. If I make a left up here, and if you're following me on the map, I'm on 152nd Street and 67th Avenue. That will crash into the ocean, okay? But I, I think they should make a, I think they should make a boat run back there. Now we're gonna go back to Old Cutler.
and then I'm going to show you a nice restaurant that um, has that outstanding food. Uh, who knows? Maybe we, we end the video there, and I call my wife and just go ahead and get some food from there and be like, hey, you know, I'm sorry I talked to you like a second-class citizen. I didn't want to edit the video. Ah, oh, man, she, she roughs me up every now and then, so. But I deserve it, guys. I deserve it, you know? But if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be able to do all this stuff because she has to do the heavy lifting on her end when I'm not helping her on everything else, you know? Well, you know how it is when you have kids. It's like, it's, it's a team. Okay, so, oh, man, I missed the light. All right, well, back to Old Cutler. Now, remember, Old Cutler is going north and south, so we're going up. So we're on 152nd Street right now. Wow, man, we've had a nice little drive. You see right there where it says Deering Estate? That's one of the entrances. I'm going to show you the other entrance now in a moment. And we'll, we'll turn in there real quick so you guys can see where the Deering Estate is. I would definitely tell you if you come down south and you're going to go do, maybe you want to do like uh, Black Point because you've seen some of my videos and it's kind of like a, Black Point is, is going to become a tourist destination down here in South Florida. I guarantee you that, 100%. Just because people want to see the manatee, people might want to see Fred the Crocodile, um, you know, and, and it's such a pretty area. You know, you got Biscayne Bay and Bayfront right there, so it's very nice. Here's that traffic I was telling you guys about. You see, we would have been in that same traffic right now, but since we cut through 67th Avenue, we're not, we're not going to be experiencing that traffic for now. I'm going to take this TikTok off. If not, you guys are going to go crazy. Boy. My, uh, my camera is going to start struggling soon, guys. But listen... It'll, it'll adjust once I get out of this car. I'm going to get out of it, and I want to show you guys the Deering, the outside, at least, of Deering Estate. All right. Remember when we were in Pinecrest? We were in Pinecrest, but now we're going to get into a section called Palmetto Bay. And like I said, you know, the people in Palm, Palmetto Bay are doing well, but they're not doing as good as the people in Palm and Pinecrest. The people in Pinecrest are doing very, very well. But they're not doing as good as the people in Coral Gables. The people in Coral Gables are doing amazing. But they're not doing as good as the people that are living on the water in Miami Beach or in Key Biscayne. So you see where this is going, guys? So... They're all desirable places. Um, if you don't want the city life, per se, you would come down here to... Wow, what is going on here? This traffic is horrendous. So if, if you want to avoid the city life, as I say this, we're in nasty traffic, you come to south. You come down south. If you want to be closer to downtown, the beach, all the rustle and bustle of, if that even makes sense, of Miami, then you would, you know, stay in that area. But, for instance, myself, I live in the Cutler Bay area. And it's a fantastic place for, for me and my family, right? I'm, I'm close to the water. I'm not on the water, which will obviously be uh, a, a great dream to aspire for. But it's a middle-class neighborhood. And it, it suits my lifestyle and my needs. And uh, I really like it. I actually like it more than these areas. Only because there's more things, there's more stores than than this stuff, right? So like like I said here, right now we just passed 152nd Street. So anybody in this area, 
wanted to go to maybe a shopping center, they would have to go back to 152nd Street and US 1, and then they, they can go, you know, probably go to the Falls, which is on 136th Street and US 1, um, which is typical or, or close. Or we can just go back the opposite way from where, where we're driving, all the way to Sunset Place, all the way. So you see what I'm saying? It becomes a mission. Man, this is one of those videos that, I mean, I might get an Emmy for this. I don't know. And then they're going to say, nope, sorry, bro. You're holding a camera. You're canceled. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm still holding the damn steering wheel with my other hand. I'm not distracted. So as we go forward, we're going to get close to the Deering Estate. But also, there's a park here that if you guys have seen a couple of my videos, when I do stuff with Alex Volguera with the uh, fishing kayak content that he does, we'll launch out of a small little kayak uh, park here close by. Man, this damn sun got us. The sundown just like really, really got us last minute. I wanted to at least get with a little bit more light to the Deering Estate area, but whatever. It is what it is. I think this would have been a cool video to do live. So we're still... Um, I haven't seen the Palmetto Bay sign yet. So we're still probably still in Pinecrest. Um, now this is a natural reserve, but all this area back there would be the Deering Estate property. All that back there would be Deering. And then Deering has a very, very pretty um, facing the water. I mean, it's really, really nice, guys. Charles Deering um, had a fantastic property. 162nd Street, guys, if you're following me on uh, Google Maps, and Old Cutler Road. 162nd and Old Cutler Road. Now, if you live in this area, you have two small gas stations close by that you can actually get gas here. In this in this part and they're coming up and some of you guys are wondering like you know they think that Miami is just like all you know it's all city and all that stuff no man it's it's a lot of this okay so yeah we're, we're technically in Palmetto Bay already so we're in Palmetto Bay and here are those two gas stations but I'm also going to make a quick left so that I can show you guys where the Deering Estate is and and I want to show you guys since we're on Old Cutler right now I do want to show you guys the uh, restaurant that we we're talking about a little bit it's just coming up here right along this I wonder if it's open Wait for it. Oh boy, what's going on here? Why is there... Maybe was there an accident around here? Looks like it. Okay, so he, he, these are those two uh, gas stations that I said were here. Now there's a co couple cool little restaurants here, guys. And if you come to the Deering uh, Estate which I would recommend. Um, what is going on here, dude? All right, so 167th and Old Cutler, guys. Okay, you see the Palmetto Bay uh, police officer? A tow truck. All right, here's one of the gas stations. And here's the other over here. So 285 a gallon. That's maybe about 
20 something cents more. You got a BB&T over there and uh, you have this very, very small um, shopping center. Come on, come on. All right. So let me show you this small shopping center real quick. This is a Starbucks. Uh, pizza place and this place has fantastic food right here guys small little place but it's called Alliance Oysteria highly recommended it's fantastic the ambiance is great and the food is just great you have a uh, cleaners here and now that's a little bit more you know nicer but food is very good now this is a place that has popped up recently within the last couple of years. Um, which is outdoor and they're known for their amazing barbecue. And it's closed. I thought it would be open. Smokes Barbecue. Okay, and we're going to end it here, guys, because this is the Deering Estate. So this is not the main entrance. The Deering Estate will go through here. You guys see the Deering Estate there? And now... As locals in Cutler Bay, our golf carts can make it over here to the main entrance of the Deering Estate. See it right there? That would be the main entrance. There's, uh, there's something that they call the Chinese Bridge. It's a small little bridge back here. But you see how this is all... I wonder how far I can get back there. I can't go all the way back there. But but if you walk, eventually a lot of people do do to do uh, come back here to to the Chinese bridge. You see and this is where it ends. And you walk through and you can see the Chinese bridge down that area, but it's it's already dark. That's old Cutler again. And that's it. Let me turn on the light inside here say thank you and I don't know guys thank you for I guess little by little you're learning Miami and um, I know that it's working because I'm getting all of your emails so if you have questions comment below or give your personal opinion or advice and then we'll go ahead and comment and talk in the comment section once again my name is Alfred Montaner I hope you enjoyed this video we're going to do the Northwest version. Take a look at the other videos that I did the walking tours so you guys get that understanding. And that's it. Amazingness. That's what we do. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alfred Montaner, I'm out here, guys. Thank you. Boom!